just had a nightmare and he woke up both of his siblings oh my gosh that was <laughs> rather than go for mom and dad little little toddler griffin who is spending his very first night as a toddler in his own toddler bed had a nightmare and he went and he woke up amber and so amber just went to wake up uh, pine to tell him about it uh but he went and he woke up amber and then he went and woke up aspen and now he's off he's like mom wake up he wants everybody in the house to be awake because he had a spooky scary nightmare and that is just so adorable oh my gosh not that he had a nightmare oh my gosh i'm sorry griffin that really came off as i was like glad you had a nightmare that is not the case let's actually have your brother come and comfort you what is that gonna look like i want to see this there we go big brother is gonna comfort you pine get back up here pine what are you doing do not play with dolls what are you doing? You have children to take care of. There you go. Amber, you go ahead and go back to bed. You're exhausted. I'm going to go ahead and let you sleep. Uh, but I thought it would be good if we, like, all the kids are awake. It's three in the morning. This is not when I thought we were going to join the family today. Trust me, I had plans for Fern and Toby. Oh, oh my gosh. But instead, of course, as often happens with a big family, instead of being able to spend time with the plans that I had for them, which was going to involve a really cool park that I have downloaded that I want to go and see with you guys and with Fern and Toby, we're instead having some bonding of the brothers. And it looks like Griffin is not having anything to do with Aspen's hug there and his attempt at comforting him. That is so cute. But yes, guys, so welcome. Welcome back to the Green Family Legacy, the growing years season. We are all decked out for fall and we are going to spend quite a little while enjoying fall and enjoying the rest of fall break and really trying to spend time with our family. I'm very excited for some of the plans and the ideas that I have in mind. I'm actually working on writing up a whole bunch of guides for the different sim colleges and universities that I'm going to make up that will include requirements for how teenage sims can try to get into them for admission that will include different degrees that they can apply for and different perks that those degrees would give them, primarily with careers, but also perhaps with different traits that they could have now and then. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to, to actually trying it out. Uh, but instead of spending the day, the beautiful fall day, as I thought we were going to do uh, at the park with the puppy, we're going we're gonna to take care of this sibling conundrum first. So let's see how this goes. He wants to tell a joke. Griffin's like, I don't want a hug. Uh, so let's try telling a goofy story. Uh, we don't have a very, like we have a friend bond with Griffin, but it's not like a big, a big bond. Uh, and what does Griffin want? He really just wants dad. He wants to ask Pine for food. He wants to ask Fern to wrestle. This is the first toddler I've ever had who like wants to wrestle. This is hilarious. And then buy toddler a jungle gym. Oh, that sounds like such a cool idea, Pine. I love that. But let's see if Pine can also help out. Um, let's see. And maybe check in on the toddler. Let's go ahead and comfort. And then let's come in. Toddler care. Uh, I think friendly. Let's give a, a loving hug and then let's give a lugging hug to Griffin for trying to help out with that. Complain about problems is not a nice thing to do. Uh, let's express love to Griffin for being kind enough. Oh, and I think Griffin got some of his scouting points. I want to take a, just a quick peek at how the, that actually works, by the way. Uh, scouting badge. Earn a scouting badge to become a Griffin scout. And we have to check the check badge progress on the scouting board. So view badge progress. Oh, you have to manually go check it. I wish it was just up here, but I think he earned like a little scouting point with helping out there. Well, let's wait until we get a thank you. Oh, the baby is stinky. No wonder he is so sad. He has got very, very stinky bum there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, are we almost done? Like, are we, are we gonna make funny faces with him? 
Okay, we're talking about day. Can we let's express love to Aspen and then let Aspen go? Because I want the whole family to have some time. There you go. Thank you, Aspen. Oh, that was so cute, Pine. You, they're they're just such a sweet family. All right, so that's just our way. All right, and now you better go back to sleep, buddy. Uh, you can you can try. You can tell a goofy story, but I guess your little brother isn't old enough to understand jokes. So let's joke about how our brother stinks like nacho cheese, and then we're gonna go ahead and go back to bed. And then what are you doing over here, Fern? <laughs> Fern's like something stinks. Look at her. She actually has the stinky diaper, uncomfortable moodlet. She's like something seriously stinks in this house. Um, like, well, we can't pick him up, so now we know it stinks. So it looks like her dad's taking care of it. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna comfort him for a second. Like, hey, sorry, littlest bro. Oh, he's really upset. And Devin's just sleeping. Well, she was sleeping through all of this. And now Aspen has earned some social from how he has been how he has been talking to everybody. So he earned a little bit of a uh, social from this. And I think that this would be enough to make uh to make our wonderful fern run for it because she doesn't want to be in charge of taking care of a stinky diaper and devin's up for the day whoops all right time to give griffin a bath there's a lot going on pine you actually need a bath yourself so you know what let's let him actually comfort his wife uh can he does he want to compliment on appearance he does want to compliment someone so devin just woke up for all of this chaos and we're gonna go ahead how do you complain? I want cheer up patient. What? <laughs> discuss. Let's just go ahead and discuss the uncomfortable mood to be to be able to say like, I've got it, honey. Don't worry. And then no, don't take a bath yourself, you goose. Let's go ahead and give Griffin a bath. And Devin's feeling better because she got to kind of get her uncomfortable mood discussion out. She's hungry. Griffin is off. Where is he going? There we go. And now he has been caught by his dad. And we're going to give him a bath. So yeah, guys. <laughs> Welcome to having a big chaotic family on a family farm like this. It's always something. And when you're raising toddlers, they may wake up in the middle of the night and need to be tended to. So that was quite interesting. But speaking of creatures up in the middle of the night, we also have the family ghost. So let's come down and actually see how our family ghost is doing. It looks like she wants to hang out with Toby and go take him on a walk. And she's happy to be part of a family. So like I talked about last time, I'm now using the club system to actually give my sims uh, like a sense of family. We have the chores that the family takes care of, but we also have like the family group, like this birthday bash group, which was actually uh, a special club that we put together. We'll rename it and it will, it will keep the club points and keep the club perks because I'm pretty sure I got some perks. Obscure club? No. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I, yeah, I earned a perk or two. Maybe? Was it the birthday bash group I did it with? Or, uh, Devin, are you the one in charge of it? Was it Green Parent Chores that I gave the perks to? Yeah, Green Parent Chores is where I gave the perks to. Let's rename that from Green Parent Chores to uh, Green Farm Family, Green Farm Family Adults. Uh, Green Farm Family, yeah, Green Farm Family Adults. There we go. So that's actually, well, that's too long. Green Farm Family. Uh, the Green Farm Family. Let's just go with Green Farm Family. Uh, and then we'll have Green Farm Family Kids. But the club, basically, we put down the club activities that the parents will do during the day. And it's kind of like a family thing. And I think, like the birthday bash, did I give that club a... Yeah, I did give this club. I knew I gave... I thought I did. Wait a second. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Down here with the inspired vibe. So I, I have started this birthday bash. So this is what we're actually going to call. Ah, who's in charge of it? You're in charge of it, Pine. So this is... We're actually going to call this uh, the Green Families Family Group. All uh, growing over the years with love and greenery. Yay! All right. And this is going to be green family, green family, uh, green family roots. 
Yay! And we'll we'll just name this like Green Family Roots, I guess one. <laughs> Which looks really silly, but I'm gonna need there's so many members of the green family that I am going to oh There's a little pet tab right over there I don't know if I've ever noticed that before and where the heck is my family tree? Why does the family tree in such an obscure location? Why isn't it with relationships? But there's so many members of the growing green family and all of their their like relations uh, all over the place that I'm probably gonna need more than one club for it so hopefully I can remember like just to keep relevant members in each one. Anyway, that's my little ramble to say I really love the club systems. So whenever I see start a club gathering, I'm going to interpret it as my sim being grateful that they're part of a family. Grateful that they're part of a family or grateful that they're part of like a, uh, a social group and kind of take away the club feeling because it feels kind of campy if that makes sense. So instead of saying, oh, my ghost wants to go clubbing, I can think, oh, my ghost is happy that she has got other people here on her farm that she can take care of the farm with and do all of the chores to take care of everything. And I think that's the only club she's part of, but we could even eventually, when Tate dies, to be blunt, <laughs> make a club where she might start inviting other ghosts to come and help her out with uh, the farm. And I, I could totally see that too. So I, I'm going to interpret this as her just being happy to be part of a family, not like actually wanting to be a member of a club. Also, is the cake still good? No, it is spoiled. Uh, is there any food? Is there is there any food in here? We could possess it uh, open. Is this good? Yeah, the fish dinner is still good. So we'll go ahead. I have to feed my ghost because she's still quite attached to the material realm. Whoop, and now this guy's energized. Not good. He needs to go to bed. In fact, oh, I know what to do. Let's go ahead and read Griffin to sleep. Ha ha. Oh, oh no, you don't, me. wild child. I've got this. We're going to make this happen. Everything about you is pretty well taken care of. You're going to go back to bed. It's five in the morning. Sun is not quite up yet. That means uh, Kidlet goes back down. All right. My ghost is eating. And I was hoping to be able to get more done with her. I, I really want to work with Allison so that I can hopefully start buying her. If I had to give her something, I kind of would want to give her... We could give her still bladder now so she never would have to actually... <laughs> like use the restroom again which would be nice because she is kind of a ghost but I kind of want to wait until she's hardly hungry because I don't think a ghost needs to eat personally forever full she would never need to eat and never weary she would never need to sleep so I think those would be worth saving up for but you know what we're just we're gonna make it so that my ghost doesn't need to go to the restroom anymore so Allison you have finally bonded you have come your farm is taken care of. You're feeling at peace with everything. So we're going to go ahead and give you a steel bladder. There we go. And then, you know, once we finish buying all of the traits that will prevent her from actually having those needs, we can start getting her money trees. And money trees can just start popping up on the family farm for no reason. That would be so cool. But we'll talk about Allison and her ghost powers more later. Hopefully, we'll never have to worry about her bladder again. That would be so nice. All right, how's this going? I don't often get to sit. What? Are we done? Oh, I think we're done. Maybe? Are you okay, Pine? Oh, look, he's gaining some sort of skill from all of this. This is more like a stare down. Oh, here we go. Oh, guys. I really, I love this. Look at his little face. Oh, I love him so much. And he's just like sitting there watching. Maybe the, these are the memories that are going to begin the powerful adventures as a wild child that he will have eventually in his life. Oh, his imagination has gone up. See? Maybe this has to do with his adventurous wild traits and the fact that he's going to have something to do with the jungle. And he's asleep now. Hopefully having good dreams. Oh, no. Pine, you're sick. Hopefully having really good dreams. Um... Play in the jets. Uh, give Toby a bath. Let's go ahead and let him take a bath with some soaks. Let's do a muscle relaxing soak because I think he's like, Whew, I really don't feel good. I don't often use those soaks, so I would love to see how it looks. Yeah, and it's fall break. We can make that mean whatever we want it to mean today. Uh, but I don't think we'll have anything special. Pine! <laughs> you know what? You relax however you want. I totally forgot that would give you like a little mud mask. 
Uh, all right, and how are we doing down here? Well, let's take care of the puppy. Let's go ahead and we're gonna fill that up. There you go, Toby. And then one day my ghost will never need to sleep, which would be nice. Because that's kind of the way things should be. Meanwhile, Devin's about ready to get up. So yeah, I really thought we would spend the day off at the park. But it seems like, of course, we had uh, some toddlers interrupt us instead. So I'm actually going to let Devin wake up now. And let's go down and make some breakfast. And otherwise, I might set everybody to just having some daily actions really fast. Ew, clean out that spoiled food in just a second, lady. That is like nasty stuff. Change outfits. And let's put that outfit on. Clean out spoiled food. Come on down. And let's serve some pancakes because that sounds absolutely delicious. And everybody wants to take this dog on a walk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, and Pine, how are you? Uh, why don't you go ahead and actually nap before, like, before the day gets started? There you go. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let him nap. All right, everybody is back in bed. Everything is going on. Oh my gosh, there's spoiled food all over the entire house. What chaos is this? If there was a child awake, I think Devin would have a lot to say about that. But actually, that does kind of tell me that doing the family farm, roots be friendly, do parent-child activities. Let's take Reed off for now. Do laundry. We'll just be friendly to everyone. And then today on the farm, um, arts and music. I'm going to try to do these things quickly. So let me actually pick out the activities that I think the parents should be doing. All right. So today and for until I change it, the activities that the adults are going to be taking care of on the farm include cow plant activity, which hopefully will not include getting eaten by cow plants, tending the garden, doing laundry, cleaning, being friendly with teens and children. And then the kids are going to be in charge of being friendly with everyone, feeding birds, using the activity table, tending the garden, which only Fern will be able to do as a teenager and playing with toys. So that being said, we're going to have Allison in the adult group. And we're going to have Belle, their cousin, who does actually live in a nearby neighborhood in the kid group. And I'm going to go ahead and start the gathering. Hopefully that will not, yeah, that will not wake up our adults who are sleeping. It'll just start the gathering so that we can earn some points. Oh, and Toby, Toby likes the dishwasher, apparently. Maybe it has really nice smells. And that'll make me happy because then the adults will be doing the things that I want them doing. And the kids, when we have Fern wake up, pretty much any minute now. Oh, Toby's obsessed with the dishwasher, noted. And he's hungry. Toby, there's food right behind you, buddy. Can you not reach it? You should be able to reach it just fine. Okay, now he's going to go eat it. All right, and we're making some nice, delicious pancakes. Good catch there, Devin. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, I, I won't really show like picking the activities anymore because it takes so long. But look at that. We just earned some more club perks. <gasps> we could improve our cooking skills and other things like with the club perks. Oh, I love that idea. Because then we could be like, yeah, the cooking skill is going up faster. Cause, or the parenting skill going up faster. <gasps> that would be so nice. I can't wait to see just the family grow over time with these things. That'll be really cool. All right, fresh pancakes. I love what Sims cook. It just makes me so happy. Yay! All right, so we're taking care of that. Uh, and one of the other just things that will be under the scenes that I won't really talk about every time, but I do plan on doing from now on, is we're going to say that Allison is the one doing almost all the gardening. You may have noticed that Devin doesn't really spend a lot of time in the garden anymore, and I'm going to interpret that as the farm just seems to take care of itself, and Devin just wakes up, and it seems the harvest is just great, and because she doesn't see or interact with Ghost, so Allison is there, but neither Devin or Pine really interact with Ghost. Pine kind of has a connection with Allison, uh, but he ends up just crying over her urn instead of actually having like a real connection with her. Only the kids can see the ghost right now and Toby is what we're saying. But Devin, because she can't see the ghost, 
just feels that the farm takes care of itself because you know Allison does all of the gardening now more or less. Devin does do a little of it but she wakes up and just obviously the harvest and the bounty is great but all of this for the most part is actually stuff that Allison harvests and we move from her inventory over into Devin's inventory now. So that's what I've been doing. And we're going to say that Allison is actually the one taking care of the land, taking care of the farm, because Devin isn't really interested in gardening. She's interested in business and her mind is really turning away from the gardening and she wants to participate in businesses. So, oh, and she's going to go milk a cow, a cow plant, which is pretty cool. All right. What do we have here? Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning to you, my little one. Oh, and she wants to do some, get to know her dad. That's so cute. Can I actually, can I do that before he leaves? Uh, beg for new toys, enthuse for candy. Uh, get to go. Oh, oh. Sure. it looks like Pine's sneaking over to give some of his food to Toby. Yeah. That's so nice. And see, Pine is being friendly with Toby because that's what the club activity says to do. And also what he would do anyway. Devin has milked some essence of happiness. I'm going to start the green kid chores as well. We can't add the toddler, so he's free to literally do whatever he wants. And then what's going on over here? We're gonna, oh, we're gonna go talk to a plant. Let's also feed this guy while we're out here, Devin, because I wanna make sure that's done. And Devin does wanna make sure these are always taken care of. She kind of sees them as an investment. I wish there was a way to make actual money off of the cow plants. Maybe I'll say that's where, oh, we'll say that's where the cow plant berry money comes from, perhaps. There's not a lot of money in cow plant berries. I used to be able to get a lot more money from that. But anyway, for taking care of the actual farm, that's Allison. And Devin just sort of feels that somehow the, the farm tends to take care of itself and it proves to be quite the profitable venture. But she doesn't know that it all has to do with the fact that there is a guardian a guardian garden ghost there's some fun alliteration taking care of everything for her and in the future as allison gets some free time uh especially once she gets like the never weary trait i actually want to have this jam and canning station we might move one into the basement and we will let her do a whole bunch of canning with the special canning mod I have so that we can finally, 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 finally see that mod. And we'll just say that, you know, people's memories get fuzzy when it has to do with anything that has to do with ghost. And when they come into the basement, there'll just be a ton of canned goods there. And gosh, you know, maybe those have been down here the whole time. And we just didn't notice because the basement's so dark. So that would be really cool too, to let Allison have another thing that she can do with the canning. And and leave like a bunch of canned goods down there that we could sell if we needed to or eat off if we needed to and they would be based off of the harvest that we can get from the garden so I'm I'm excited about that I think that'll end up quite well all right and you can do whatever you want Devin what what are your like her aspirations are to earn more money she doesn't have a career but we'll talk about that another day she might be thinking about one and she's gonna go do some laundry in a second here what do I want you to do, my dear? Maybe we just sell all of these. I wanted her to do the canning, but honestly, I don't know if she has time to really focus on canning anymore. So I might just have her sell all of the harvest and see how much money that gets her. But what's her aspiration points at? 3,000. A money tree would be kind of nice. Speed cleaner. Oh, that would be so nice because she really has gained a lot of skills as an adult, she is kind of a morning sim. You know what? We should have her get some of these. Potion of youth, oh, if only. Uh, ooh, ooh, there we go. All right, the entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial blah, blah, blah. that's a little bit of a tongue twister for me. That sounds like her. That sounds like her, if you ask me. And she would probably have connections. Sims with connections start all careers several, several levels ahead. Yes, that's what we're going to buy for her because she is thinking about going back into business. And so she's going to start thinking about her connections. And meanwhile, with our beloved Pine, uh, what do we already have for him? He already is marketable and frugal and a speed reader. I think, uh, yeah, both he and his wife are marketable and frugal. <laughs> So that we can, or well, actually his fiance, we need to have that wedding soon so that they can earn more off of what they do produce at the farm. 
but what would I want to get for you, my dear? Probably like always welcome because you should be welcome to do whatever the heck you want. I feel like he's a, oh, a great storyteller. Oh, that really fits him. I kind of want to get that one. I don't feel super comfortable giving him a money tree at the moment. Um, I mean, it'd be really nice to have a money tree, but I just don't know if he has earned it in a way, if that makes sense. I mean, maybe what's his, like, I think his handiness skill is maxed out. So we could say that's related to his job, but the money tree gives you so much, like so much for a reward. And uh, maybe carefree, never, oh, you know what? But carefree fits him so well. Like never getting tense, uh, incredibly friendly, and being able to give him stuff like, uh, let's see, maybe give, oh, like a mentor, where he can help like Sims learn through his skills. I feel like, ah, and he's a speed cleaner already, which is kind of cool. And he's already observant. So I kind of feel like I want to give him the, where's the, the, like, there's the great storyteller. I kind of feel like I want to give him storyteller and other things not to do. And maybe always welcome because he's so friendly. Let's focus on those. Let's focus on things that build up his personality. Always friendly. He's a great storyteller. Um, and then let's give him a solemn sleeper would be really nice so that he could take care of everything. But I feel like he needs the carefree trait. So that he, he's never tense. He's always patient, always happy to like take care of his kids. So I feel like that's a very important trait for him. All right. I did not expect to have a parenting day there. Oh, and look at this. Aspen is gaining some points. Look at Amber taking care of the pets, like calling Toby to come eat because that is some of the club stuff they're supposed to do. That's so cool. Oh, is the chores active? I actually wanted the hangout active, not the chores. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I wanted, let's end the chores and let's start the club hangout. So <laughs> I was having, I was having her siblings do like, do all of the chores and let's actually buy a perk because today is apparently set everything up yet again day. Um, maybe build creativity. Well, yeah, let's build creativity while they're all hanging out and just having a good time. And they're already inspired and maybe like to give vibes while they're in the club. Oh, and then somebody said we should make friendship bracelets for all of the kids. And I think that sounds adorable. So we're actually gonna buy some friendship bracelets. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do, but I do think we need friendship bracelets for all of the green family kids to wear because that just sounds so cute. But all right, so we got everything set up. I've kind of explained what's going to happen for taking care of the farm, how I want to really integrate those aspiration points because I feel like I haven't really used a lot of them. Oh, somebody fed the birds. Oh, that makes me so happy. Look at that. And the kids, I like how the kids, because of how we set it up for them to be friendly and interact with each other, actually will kind of take care of their own wants and needs. And I really would love like today... Amber finally getting a chance to like read with an adult for a little while. That would be nice. A cozy fire. Oh, from the fireplace. Somebody lit the fireplace on. Well, that's okay. Pine, what are you doing? Oh, he's coming over to play with dolls. Forget playing with dolls. <laughs> for crying out loud, we've had this like read with an adult for two hours. I'm getting that. That's the last thing I really, really want to get done for the day. Um, we can, oh, we can click on her to view badge, uh, badge progress. An attempt mental to what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know about attempting mental telepathy, but it sounds adorable. Here, let's put on one of her cute outfits. And then can we read with, how to read with adult? What stinks that has all of you guys? Oh, her hygiene's a little low. And the scouting badge board is in her inventory. Oh, so maybe if it's in their inventory, then you're able to actually like look at it. Okay, how can I read? I want to read a book with the dad. How to read book, how, how to read book together. I guess that's what I want. Friendly, can we do like a parenting thing? Cause it's been so long parenting. Teach to say please and thank you. Put to bed. No. Ask about day. Push on swing. I want to be able to read a book together. 
So read, how do you read a book with your kids? Uh, let's open it. Let's pick a book. Herbalism? Uh, like, does it need to be a child's book, basically? So Charlotte's Pig. Read to children. Oh my gosh, it does. <laughs> I don't know about this. Like, I, I'm, I think that Amber would, like, give her dad a look like, really, dad? Really? You're going to read Charlotte's Pig to me? Uh, make them laugh until they cry? Yep, but it looks like we're going to be reading Charlotte's Pig to, uh, to Amber. I don't think she's going to be very impressed. But let's go ahead and get this over with. <laughs> All right, come on, Amber. Maybe I can figure out a way to read you a different book at some point in the future. But this is happening. It's a classic story, all right? And, and you know what? Maybe we can put some sort of cool new twist on it because Pine here definitely has that, that really good storyteller trait now. Also, I'm so sorry, Amber. You definitely need a shower. All right. And this fall break thing, just in case you guys didn't know, is just my custom thing so that we don't have any school for the kids today. And they can just kind of focus on having a good time. Yes! Finally! We have completed that aspiration. And Amber just has to work on her homework and finish it two times while being focused. Uh, so I think she's already completed her homework too. All right. So about time. We finally got that out of the way. Uh, go into full parent mode, achieve parenting level 10, and pine, that didn't take long at all. We should have done that before. Can we do something cool with parenting? Teach to say please and thank you. Let's influence her to go, can we go influence her to go shower? Because <laughs> she's, uh, influence to go shower. Like, honey, you might need, you might need a shower. All right, and that's, look at that. I love how they sit down to do that. She's like on it and he gains some parenting skill from that. And then Aspen is over here doing some drawing. Absolutely adorable. Who's calling us? Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Oh, Grandma Iris just called to congratulate Aspen on his, uh, on being in the, the scouts. So let's actually try this out. Let's put the scout thing in his inventory. Oh, now he has two of them. Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Fern, the teenager is eating cake. I can't even, I can't even take like two seconds to focus on these things. All right, badge progress. Civic responsibility has gone up. And good deeds has gone up from trying to console our little brother when he woke up and uh, had a nightmare, which is adorable. And it looks like Aspen is actually viewing all of the fall decorations while he does his art. That is so cute. I love just watching the family interact together like this. All right, but now we're free. We're free from the chores. We are free from the chaos. We are free from everything that has gone on. And next time we might be able to actually go to the freaking park with our puppy. So uh, thank you guys for your patience. I, As I figure out the ways that I'm setting up the club systems and setting up the university and setting up how I have different members of the family interact, I am actually setting up the way I am going to play my legacies in The Sims 4 forever. So I know it sounds like a lot of repeating the same things, but it's just my way of really figuring out how is this going to work? How can I keep this fun? How can I give the family room to grow while also giving them some challenges of their own to face? So I'm really excited to share their story with you and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.